Welcome Ivan Sid for his prepared speech titled My Teachers and Toastmasters. turn this one as well. Okay. Okay, great. Well, it's been five years since I first joined Toastmasters. Almost everyone here, when I first met five years ago, uh, all disappear or Died away. I'm not saying they all died away. That's just a matter of I started to feel like, uh, to understand how an 80 year old man feel like when his friends all died away and feeling lonely. I just started to feel how it was like. Well, but I think it would be a pity if you have no chances to meet such those great people uh, back then, five years, six years ago, just because they, they left. So today I'm going to share with you three great teachers, my, or my mentors in Toastmasters. First of all is Jack. Okay, any one of you know who is Jack? Jack, yeah. yes. Okay, yes. so it says, oh. it says, this one? No. no. This one? No. This one? Yes. Yes. And that was taken in 2012, but he still looks exactly the same now. That's why we call we call him Hu Lao Yao Jin. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, in 2012 spring, he was the MVP, and at that time I started to become a deputy in his masters. So he was my leader at the time. The first time he uh, called me out to work with me. He just gave me an assignment. After explaining all details of that assignment, I started to think, okay, I'm ready uh, to, uh, to perform and do it well to prove it that I'm a great or uh, a responsible deputy. But after all this explanation, he just told me, well, let's do it together. I was quite surprised because he was the uh, EVP, I was a deputy, and he is going to do the same little job with me, just to show me how to do it well. I was really, really surprised because I thought, well, a boss would not do the same work with his deputy, but that's what he did. 
and he did it really patiently. After one semester, when I become became MVP myself, he was my senior. He still keep showing me many experiences. He just keep telling me many uh, mistakes he's made so that I would not need to make again. He's my senior, but he never acted as if he's a senior. He always acted as if he's my classmate. Just work with me, work with, work with me together. And I really do not understand why he has to do this. Because he's my senior, he can be very um, uh, dominant, but he didn't. He just act as if we were peers, we were classmates. So that taught me how I should be when I become MVP. And that's an example I will always learn from him. Second, I want to share with you Joyce. Now, that's only one girl here, so obviously this is Joyce. Joyce was the uh, president in 2011 spring, and he was also my mentor. A she, yeah, she. My goodness, I didn't sleep well last night. She, what a simple mistake. She, but she is as strong as a man. That's why I say he. <laughs> okay. She was my mentor. You know what? At that time when I was a uh, freshman, I was so proud that when I prepared my C1, I even didn't ask her to help me rehearse. But it turned out I messed up the whole C1. I studied a lot and people did not understand my accent at all. So they just keep talking themselves and yeah, ignoring that. Well, but Joy was sitting here at the front row. She keeps smiling, she keep, she kept nodding. Even though I'm quite sure that she uh, did not understand, understand my accent as well. But that's what she did. Whenever there's a speaker here and you see Joyce down there in the audience, you never get worried because he's always there encouraging. She's always there showing you that he, she is listening. She is supporting. And that's why even though I mess up in my C1, I continue to give my C2 because she makes two masters such a lovely place. The third one, I want to tell you uh, the boyfriend of Joyce, that is, who is that? Who is that? Yeah. Boyfriend boy, uh, of Bill. No, of Joyce, that's Bill, and this is Bill. Who is this one? Howard, Howard. okay. This one? Joyce. Okay, you didn't see her face. Bill was the president when I and Claire and Joey first joined his masters. That was 2011, autumn. And I could say if it was not him who brought us here, I would not know great friends such as Emma, Claire, Joey, and Harvey. Without him, I would not be here five years later. He was a president, but he, again, he, he was so humble. The first time I joined Toastmasters outing. Uh, there was about around 30 people. Suddenly he came to me and talked with me. He told, asked me, well, Ivan, what, what is your favorite uh, uh, singers? And he asked me, what, is, what do you do when you in your leisure time? I was quite sure because he was the president and there was so much that he didn't care about. He didn't overlook the whole uh, trip. But he talked to me as if we were old friends. Well, at that time, I first joined his masters. I don't really know much, uh, many people here. And I look so unfriendly, just as I do now. So people don't uh, come close to me much. But that's him who told me that someone cared about me to his masters. I think that is what presidents do to his masters. And that's what made me stay to his masters. Oh, that's the red part, right? Okay, so if I have to uh, mention one common uh, uh, factors among these great teachers, that is they are also humble, even though they are so great, 
that's outstanding. They don't show, they don't um, act superior. They just show as if they are friends. They care about you. Thank you, to masters. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> Reporting for duty. Uh, at ease. Yes, ma'am. So, first time I ever. Uh, counter report. Oh. <laughs>